Good tail around, having a good time. I'll tell you what though. the front brakes for you now you can see without rear brakes it's pretty tough to handle these um, not only that but this front suspension you can see it too I've noticed this took it off a few jumps it's not working too well so I'm gonna have to replace the shocks on this again I just got it so I'm not going too nuts oh yeah when it feels like a trampoline you know something's wrong no gas in the shock or, or the back spine. You can see it come up nice and slow. See, it doesn't hop up like a trampoline. The front shocks are certainly in need of replacement. But you can't see how steep this cliff really is until you look at the blaster next to it. That's a rock face. And when you go down it, it's easy to get caught up on the bottom because it's shaped like a, a U. You can see the blaster where I hit the front tires and almost threw me over the handlebars. That's why let go of the clutch, just let it cut. Alright, let's get it started and let's go again. These are definitely not trail machines as they are. Four strokes. As four strokes are, I mean. And with these shocks in the front kind of shaky, it's hard to get. Holy cow, they fast though. Especially this one has uh, got a 6675 bore on it. So it goes pretty good. Alright, 
shut it off, cut the power. Let's give a little bit of assessment about this. Again, these screws are missing. But anyways, uh, it feels like a blaster. It's light. It's, uh, it's longer than the 230. The front tires are inverted, so I can feel that right away. It's been kicking my arms left and right. Actually, my shoulders are not feeling too good right now from that almost over the handlebar hit. But it feels like a blaster. Like I said, it's got it's got a higher bore, so it's got a little more power. When you gun it, I feel it. <laughs> and I don't know. It's uh, it's a pretty solid machine, as as any other blaster should be. I mean, they'll blow up, but it takes 20 minutes to put it back together, and literally $75 worth of parts to to repair a blown up blaster. You don't don't freak out. By the way, if you have a blaster and you blow the top in. Don't freak out. It's there's. It's not a hard job to do. I mean, look on. Believe it or not, get a cheapo kit from eBay. Even if it comes with a shitty piston, they blow up so often that it doesn't matter. <laughs> you could just, you could just pop the jug on there, pop the piston in there, put the rings in, set it. Make sure you ride it for 10, 15 hours, nice and light. And once you break it in, then just fucking whip it again. You know, it it doesn't matter too much, but. It's a nice machine if you're looking for a cheap alternative. Normally when I sell these, they're like six to $700. And I'll do minimal work to them. If they have a blown top end, I'll get them for two, $300. Put that $75 into it and then put in the cables, the cords and whatnot that you'll see that's missing on this one. I'll probably end up putting a back brake on it and I'll definitely replace the front shocks. This is not safe to drive as it is. I do not recommend riding an ATV with blown shocks because it could really cause some damage. You can see it. That's how you could tell. It's almost like a trampoline. It feels like you're on a trampoline when the shocks are bad. Now, if you, the way you could tell shocks are, well, they're, they're in working shape, is if you get on the bike and, see, I'm not jumping up and down with it. It's not trampolining me. So that's how you can tell the shocks are good. But this bike overall runs really good. You can see it and, and hear it and almost feel it, almost like I did. Uh, it lifts me up, no problem. I mean, I'm only 150 pounds, but it'll lift me up, no problem. It'll drive me down. Uh, I'll, I could probably wheel this thing for miles if I felt like it. And it'll probably hit about 55, 60 miles an hour. Just imagine a two-stroke 125 dirt bike little bit heavier four wheels with 200 cc engine so it's not quite a 250 it doesn't go as fast doesn't rip around like that but boy do they go they go real good but i'm stick i'm still gonna stick and um prefer the lt230 again without the clutch um the, i i leave clutches for something like a raptor 660 which is coming up you'll see that the raptor 660 is coming up i'm still working on it but Something like a blaster, you know, good. It needs a clutch only because an auto clutch won't work for it. Uh, but if you're looking for a good entry level machine, that's just that's just good to rip around and uh, have some fun on. And if you blow it up, you're not going to hurt yourself. Uh, this is it. I mean, can't say too many positive and negative things about it because it's a blaster. <laughs> uh, six speed, 200 cc's now a 210 and uh, rips pretty good. So any questions about anything, let me know. I've taken hundreds, like I said, I probably had about 30 of them, but I've taken hundreds of them apart, putting them back together over my years. Uh, been right, riding these blasters specifically for about, let's say about 20, yeah, almost 20 years now. So my first one was when I was 12 and I'm 30. So yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, shoot them over in the comments. I could certainly help you out or, uh, steer you in the right direction but the bikes are fun and uh you know just be careful with them but have fun especially if they're your first one again this is tippo and uh, i'm out thanks